kind of show you some of the one of the coal mines out here anyway this is one of the coal mines I don't know how well you can see it I think that's kind of like the reclaim where they're filling in it's, it's all over here too one of the mines out here bought this big contraption it's a rotary miner and uh, they never used it they bought it they brought it out here and that's where it's it's always sat that's where they put it together at it's where it's always been sitting and it's, it's I think it's been out here since the 80s but it's got a, a rotary cutter on the front and that's what scoops up the material they're really popular in Germany because like the ground is softer I think but I guess they just didn't work out here it didn't work out here or it wouldn't work out here very well because the ground's more rocky so that <laughs> they fucking bought the damn thing and, and there it sits like all that money I'm sure it wasn't cheap it's you know it was a used piece of equipment it wasn't brand new or anything but you would think that they would find some way to use it I mean surely surely could do something with it That's what Wyoming's known for is the coal. Most of your coal, I think 40% 40, 40 of the nation's coal comes from the state of Wyoming. It's some of the best coal in the world. I mean, there's power plants that when they know Wyoming coal's coming in, they'll make all the other trains get out of the way so the Wyoming coal can come in first. It's, it's just that good quality. It's, it's got a very high BTU content or burn rate and uh, low sulfur so it, it doesn't pollute as much that I just go <laughs> you get so sick of people talking about coal mines and, and coal power plants and they they pollute and, and yada 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 but there's nothing cheaper and like that's what just kills me it's like these power plants have scrubbers in the um, exhaust stacks and it takes out a lot of the harmful stuff in the air like when you see a coal power plant burning and you see like smoke coming out of the smokestack that's not smoke that's steam like even on a hot day the pipes will steam because it's burning so hot ow <laughs> it's burning so hot but everybody just always automatically assumes that that's pollution and they, they'll complain about coal power plants and this and that but they won't mouth off and say something about their own car they're driving and the car's polluting just as bad you know so that's where you know everybody keeps talking about going to electric cars and motorcycles and it's like guess what you still need to burn a fossil fuel to generate electricity to charge your car so you're not really like helping the environment like you think you are and mining for nickel is horrible for the environment nickel is a getting to that stuff is horrible you know and you need nickel to make batteries lithium-ion batteries have nickel in them so I've just heard a lot of things about nickel and it's just it's very bad to mine for it there's just there's just nothing out there right now that's better than fossil fuels like I mean and they're people are like oh we're running out no we're not <laughs> we're far from running out I say we have plenty of fossil fuels to last us another hundred years without question but I just can't stand them talking about you know coal and we need to we need to shut coal mines down and we need to go to nuclear or something and it's like you realize how many people are employed because of the coal industry I'm not talking about just coal miners I'm talking about like out here you have pilots okay why do you have pilots pilots fly people in out here to work pilots fly in parts they fly in mail okay so you have all the people that work at the airport to support that you got all those people you've got UPS FedEx all your um, freight companies, you know, uh, Old Dominion, North Park, all your 
heavy freight companies that bring in parts, they bring in machines. You've got all the coal miners. You've got people like me that supply parts to the coal, uh, the coal mines, you know, for their, their equipment. And it, it goes down as far as you've got the railroad people out here supporting, uh, fixing the railroads and um, bringing the coal out and bringing the new cars in to fill up with coal. It, and I mean, like I said, you we can even narrow it down to the people that work at the gas stations, you know? People that, on their way to work, stop at a gas station and get a cup of coffee. So, I mean, if you shut the coal mines down out here in Wyoming, pretty much the whole state of Wyoming would become a ghost town. There, there wouldn't be nothing left of Wyoming. There'd be no reason for anybody to be out here, other than maybe the ranchers, but... I think they would have to leave too because the towns would die and you know the towns like with Walmart and all those places just to get groceries you know uh, ranchers have to buy groceries too I mean they don't just survive off their cows I mean they they still have to go to the grocery store and they still have to go to um, Menards to get lumber or the hardware store or you know stuff like that so just thinking of like people talking about that they need to shut coal mines down that is like the dumbest thing in the world it's like even if you're against coal mines it's like are you against having that many people lose their jobs at one time you know it's just crazy thought to me like I work for the coal industry basically I, my job is a lot of the revenue from our company comes from um, coal mines so I kind of have uh, you know that opinion that yeah we need coal mines but at the same time even if I didn't work in a coal mine it's uh, I just like I guess I can't imagine shutting them down and that many people losing their jobs you know that is like a horrible idea for the economy and you can preach all you want about alternatives like solar power uh, solar power wind power they're just not as effective and nuclear power to me is like the dumbest thing in the world it's it's a ticking time bomb waiting to go off and then not to mention all the nuclear waste that has to get stored in an underground bunker forever you know what what's that doing to the environment so that's just my opinion I, I'm not gonna sit here and preach about it but I just don't see how anybody could be like, yeah, we need to shut coal mines down because they're just a detriment to the, the way of living. So that's that's all I'm gonna say about about that stuff. I'm pro job. I'm not pro anything else. You know, whatever. I'm just pro job. So take it out, you will.